Today I'm doing a video on exposing the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ, which we know isn't another testament of Jesus Christ, and the only words that we ever need to know and study and um, believe are in the Bible, um, in the Holy Bible, and this is God's word completely, nothing taken, nothing added. As Revelation 22.19 uh, says about those who take away or add from the book talking about revelation in here i'll just find it 22 i think it's 22 19 it also says it for i testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book if any man shall add unto these things god shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book and if any man shall take away from the words of the book of the prophecy god shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city from the things which are written in this book so um god sees changing his word in any way very serious i remember when the devil came against god he said it is written so this bible is the words of the bible are so so um necessary for us to follow and anything that's given to us outside this book needs to be tested so anyway the book of mormon here we are so here's a picture of their prophet. They call him Joseph. His name's Joseph Smith. The guy who made up this whole story about an angel visiting him and giving him these new things to add to the Bible, to an extra load of information that we haven't had, apparently. Um, but in this book, it tells you that Jesus is not God's son. It tells you that Jesus and Satan are brothers and that Satan... Um, was evil which we know anyway so it times a bit of truth with a bit of lies in there and it also said that, he, that Mormons were on a planet before they came to this earth it's just blasphemous isn't it um, and this is the guy who found the I think it was tablets or something that's supposed to have the words of given to him by an angel or something and he put it in the ground but it's like taking biblical terminology and twisting it the devil is very good at doing that deceiving people um, taking things that look good look true um, and mixing them with so much lies to get someone in, caught up in deception um, basically at the end of this I'll be burning this book so nobody else reads this book um, and I pray that nobody else will be deceived by it but I'm sure and I know many 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 people are deceived by it um, there's just things in here like um, book of Jacob which is obviously a biblical name Jacob and some of the terminology in here sounds very almost like biblical um, nor shall slumber nor sleep neither shall the girdle of their loins be loosened nor the latch of their shoes be broken the thing like slumber or sleep well the lord never slumbers or sleeps um the word of the holy one of israel well, that's the lord jesus so there's lots of like terminology there's word the word here there's sins as well they shall return to god um brethren that's a biblical thing carnally minded is death and spiritually minded is eternal life that's from the bible so it's taking bits of out of here and mixing it with lies to make this wicked book and so many people are deceived by this it says on the back here the church of christ of latter-day saints i remember once i almost got dra dragged into believing that they were christians because i was working with one um years ago and i thought oh, i'll look into it a bit more and i'm glad i did because uh, once i realized what she was into i realized the amount of um deception she was following i mean there's just so much so many things wrong with it i can't go into all of it but look it up for yourself you know and see why it's actually you know a blasphemous book against god um the devil wrote it and the devil has deceived many people with it so pray for the mormons that they'll be uh, have their eyes opened and realize that it's actually a counterfeit to what the real bible says the bible says in here as well that you know do not follow another gospel of the one that you first received and the one that we first received was that jesus christ son of god came and died for us on the cross son of god son of man and son of god you know not um not uh you know jesus is god he's not just create he's not a created being he's god the begotten son the one the only begotten son of god you know the only begotten son the father so yeah be wary aware this stuff is out there people and there are people who say they're christian but they're probably mo most likely some of them could be mormon so test what people say um against what the bible says because this is god's final authority